Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I have here the Samsung Galaxy S4 once again, and I cannot believe what I'm about to say. All right, I cannot believe what I'm about to say, but I'm gonna show you guys how to install Android 12 on this. How long? How long? How long is this phone? Nine years old? Yeah, I think nine years old. Nine years old Samsung Galaxy S4. I don't know what you're saying, man. That's it's true. It's true. All right. If you guys think I'm saying nonsense, well, I'm gonna show you guys here. Bam. Lineage OS 19 for the GFLT XX, and of course, it's made by one and only side from the JDC team, man. Congrats to these guys, man. Big applause. Big up to these guys, man. I mean. Seriously guys, Android 12 on the S4, the Galaxy S4, and in fact, I think I found one for the S3 also, but uh, I don't have an S3 so I can test it out, but on the S4, of course, there is also a catch, but here's the thing, alright, if you guys see my previous video here, I'll show you guys Android uh, 11 for the S4, you will see that some stuff is doesn't work, and this doesn't work on that video. After a year passed, um, you guys can see the video right here. Right? A year has passed since I made the Android 11 Lineage OS 18 video. And on that video, I show you guys that oh, some stuff doesn't work, this doesn't work, that doesn't work. Well now, we're at version 7.0. I got here the latest and greatest version from Side, GDC team. Thank you guys for one, one more time here. As you can see, I'm still running it here. Android 11, Lineage OS 18.1 this time, built in 2022, uh, January 18 version 7.0 and let me tell you one thing all those bugs have been fixed and everything works well you can see your camera works well now there camera works video works everything is not working so this version of android 12 has a lot of things that doesn't work as you can see here what's working and what does not work and i think because this is still a preview build all right so this is only for you guys to check it out Android 11 now works amazing on this phone, so Android 12 will be, but you guys have to be patient, alright, wait for maybe, I don't know, 3-4 months, get back to this video, because I will put the drum link, of course, in the description, so yeah, uh, I'm also going to show you guys a way to update your twerp, because I think I have in this phone twerp version 3.3, and I'm gonna update it to 3.5, so I'm gonna show you guys a way on how to update that also, all right? So without any further ado, let's go to the video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to update your twerp here. I got 3.3 something, and I wanna update it to version 3.5, and the twerp is from no other than Side from GDC Team. So Side is the king for the Samsung Galaxy S4 Snapdragon variant, all right? So if you guys want to skip to the installation, you guys can go to this second right here. But if you guys want to be like me, update your twerp first and follow along this journey, all right? Click on the, click on the XDA link that will look right in the description. You click on download here, Google Drive. And there's two versions here. One is, this is just different theme. So you got red, black, and a teal black, I think. Yeah, teal black. Uh, both of these, doesn't matter what you choose. It's just a theme for the twerp. So I'm gonna go with red, black here. And there is two versions here. There's the tar file and there's there's and there's a dot image file. The tar file is uh, the file if you want to install it with your computer with Twerp. That's what you gotta use. But we're gonna use the IMG here, or you go to just click the A click and I'll click like this. Oh, there we go. And click on download. Zoom a little bit here and download anyway. Download. Next, you gotta go to the link in the description here. You gotta go to the XDA link again. Thanks to Sub and GDC team. Scroll down here, download the Lineage OS 19. Again, the links that I provide in the description might change uh, in the future depending on, you know, if site uh, have a new version or an optimized Lineage OS version like this, like right now that I'm using here, Android 11 optimized Lineage OS. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna say this again. Right now, as of February 23rd, 2022, I am showing a version that is still the first preview, all right? If you guys like to call it the beta one of the build. Okay, you click, click on download or your download mine, so I don't want to download it again. Okay, once you download all those things, I recommend you guys have an SD card and copy all those two files if you guys want to update the tour as well. And copy it to your SD card because I advise you guys to format your entire 
phone, alright? So if you guys want to back up your current ROM as well, you can do that in Twerp and put it on the SD card and you guys can restore it like nothing happened, alright? Next, what you gotta do is go to your phone and go to recovery mode. No, that's not, that's not it. So you guys install the custom ROM like I did from side. There is an option to enable boot into recovery mode from the power menu. But if you guys don't, basically you gotta restart your phone, press power, volume up, and the home button at the same time. All right, and once you see the Samsung logo appears, let go of the power button, but keep on the volume up and the home button, all right? And as you can see that little guy turned to blue, that means you are in recovery mode, all right? And as you can see here, I got a special GDC theme twerp here, but this is the version 3.3.0. So, uh, if you guys wanna back up your ROM, you can do it from here, and you guys can use your SD card and good to go. And now we hit on install. We, I'm gonna install my twerp file here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my SD card here and click on here, install image. As you can see, everything change to the IMG. Now click on here. We're gonna press on recovery since we're gonna update our recovery here and swipe to confirm flash. As you can see here, the flash completed. Now we're gonna reboot system and immediately go to recovery mode again. Power, volume up, and home button. And you let go what you see the little, little thing guy up there go blue. As you can see there, 3.5.2 by GDC Team. Let's go to wipe, advanced wipe, Delphi cache, cache, data, internal storage, and system. Because, you know, it's a new ROM. Uh, we want to make the performance much better. So that's why I'm wiping every single thing. But, you know, you can, you can uncheck internal storage if you guys want something to keep. Let's wipe them all. Wipe them all because I already copied everything to my SD card anywho. Okay, once that's done, we're gonna go back here, back, back, we're gonna hit on install. And we're gonna click on Linux OS 19 here and swipe to confirm flash. And that is corrupted. <laughs> I think this one, I think this one is the real one. Let's see here. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is successfully installed. Let's reboot the phone. Okay, so right now we do got the stock Linux OS boot up screen, but maybe one in the future build it will be replaced again by, you know, the created by GDC team. Oh, here we go. Android 12 on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Okay, let's set them up. Let's skip all these things and start. And here we go, guys. Android 12 on a samsung galaxy s4 okay let's see here oh ho, 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 ho. wow the same one like on my pixel all right look at that 12 oh it's a little the performance is all right all right oh there we go we got some crashes already you can see there live crashes system ui just crashed oh we got this there the new lock screen i will we'll touch on that later on what happened here i can go to settings Oh, that's it's a little laggy. It's a little laggy. Don't worry. I think it will get polished up, like I said, when when the uh, you know future build, more future build will come. It will get more polished. So don't worry. Right? This is the first preview build, so of course stuff will get not so good, right? So let's go to system. No, let's go to about phone and Android version <laughs> Android 12. Man, let's do the thing here. We gotta spin this baby up to 12 o'clock here. 12 o'clock, exactly 12. Bam! <laughs> wow! I just can't believe that this phone got Android 12. With the latest security patch as well as of I'm making this video at least, February 5th, 2022. Okay, let's check some stuff here. Um, for what I can tell, you can see the uh, backlight buttons here. They don't work, but they maybe get fixed in a future build. Let's try camera here. I don't think camera works. Still attack my location. Yeah, I can't connect to camera. Let's see if Wi-Fi works. Okay, Wi-Fi does work. Okay, let's go to the browser here and let's see if the internet is working. All right. So let's see here. I'm gonna try to download a picture because what's new here in Android 12, of course, is with the material U. And for what I can tell from this wallpaper, you can see that little 
internet and whatever these old little things colors they have been changed so i don't think that we have some more wallpaper let's go wallpaper in style here do we have some other wallpaper that we can try no we don't also we supposed to be can able to change the colors and all that so let me go download some pictures real quick to show you guys here okay so i got this picture my sd card here let's set the picture as my wallpaper here let's see if material u uh, is working on this first build we can change this oh okay that's nice that's nice let's set home and lock screen here okay now they supposed to be changing but i don't know if we got to set it up or not so let's go to wallpaper and styles oh they don't oh it looks like they don't change right now dark theme yeah dark mode works you guys can see also here that we got also got a new time that's on the top you got a notification here if you swap this away it will get bigger okay we also got the new volume buttons here but again the color palettes just like does not work at the moment okay you can also in android 12 turn off microphone and camera access so that'll be you know for security stuff that will be good the performance right now there's some you know hiccups here and there but then again like i said this is the first build so you're gonna be patient all right just be patient for more future build and we'll get better and polished up okay also from what i can tell you is bluetooth is not connected i'm trying to send an apk file to this phone because i cannot install it for some reason on this phone as of right now so that might be a bug so it is what it is as you can see also here the privacy dashboard also does work here on this phone camera microphone access toggle also work so that is it guys for android 12 from the samsung galaxy s4 I, I still can't believe that i am saying those words and i guarantee you just like i said in the beginning right it will be polished and ready for you guys good to go okay i think i found another bug here i can't wake the device up from the home button so i had to press the power button and we woke up so again like i said probably will get fixed in the future build but this again this is still the first build so be patient about it all right so thank you guys for watching this video comment like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace